Hello, this is Adrian with another Excel at the Office video for you. Um, you can visit my site at eto.blog, eato.blog. And in this video, I'm going to show you some views in Microsoft Word, how you can sort out multiple pages, how you can immerse yourself in reading your documents and zooming in, zooming out, just to help you review your documents ready for print and just finalizing the draft. So generally, as a default, Microsoft Word will present you with this view where you can kind of scroll up uh, across all your pages um, to review your document. The view is around, uh, tends to be around 80%, or, or sorry, 100% width, I've got it on here. Um, you can manually, in the bottom right-hand corner, zoom in and out of your uh, document uh, to adjust it in increments. Um, but a quick way of doing that. So in the ribbon up here, if ever you're um, zoomed in, zoomed out too far or um, so on, you can reset it to 100%. So that's a handy quick button. But one thing when you've got longer documents to save lots and lots of scrolling, it's quite handy to use multiple pages. So viewing it two or three wide, I quite like two wide. So if I click on that, uh, when you click multiple pages, it does it three wide. Um, but I'm going to use the zoom in button here because uh, to get it too wide, um, you have to zoom in a bit and I want to maximize the use of my screen. So there we go. I can review a lot more content at once, particularly if I'm dealing with watermarks or reviewing the layout of things. It's just a lot easier when you've got a longer document to review a lot more um, content and fix typos proofread and so on. If ever you want to get back and focus in on the reading of your document, coming back to these uh, Zoom quick links you've got um, in the ribbon, you can go back to one page. Um, so that puts, uh, as it suggests, fills the available screen with one page only, uh, one page length, that means. Or if that's quite difficult to read and I want to kind of go into the detail of uh, reviewing the text. I'm going to use my page width on this um, document, which is one I, I drafted my exit interviews blog around. Um, so if I go back to 100% now, now you've seen the multiple pages, the one page page width and so on. And I really like the um, reassurance of viewing things on what looks like a piece of paper. So that's the print layout option that has a, that's the default. There's other modes that you can explore. Um, if you don't like them, don't, uh, you can press escape or go back to print layout. So I'll leave you to do that. But an, another thing I wanted to show you in this video was if you don't like forever scrolling endlessly uh, up and down like this, and you want it presented more as like a book or a pamphlet. As a default, you in the page movement, you've got vertical, but in Office 365 uh, Word, you've got this side to side button as well, which is quite nice. So you can read it a bit more like a, uh, like a book, where as you scroll, it moves on uh, the pages like so. So I quite like that um, for just, again, reviewing uh, the document when you're nearing completion to it. Uh, if I go back to vertical now, another view option is you might like to see the, um, so the rulers are shown as default, so that allows you to extend or narrow the general page margins of the document. And as I mentioned in my kind of intro to Word, uh, if when you're starting out a Word document, Control A selects everything and set your page margins before you've written anything. Because if you then do um, any bullet points or, or uh, specific tables that have got a specific width, like these for example, then it, it puts all those at the uh, margins as well. So set all that before uh, starting your document. So that's the ruler feature. Um, you can switch that on or off in your view. Uh, it gives you a little bit more space in the page if you turn it off. 
Um, another thing to look at is grid lines. Um, I don't find this particularly helpful, but you might use it to line up uh, any pictures um, uh, and get them to align to one another, or graphics or flowcharts and such. And the navigation pane, though, I find helpful. So if you've um, uh, got particular uh, contents linked headings in your document, it will give you an overview layout here. I haven't done that in this document. Um, but if uh, what I find it particularly helpful for is navigating the pages in that navigation pane, particularly when you've only got one page wide. I find there's room for it and you can quickly, using the thumbnails, navigate to uh, your pages uh, as you please. So for example, if I navigate down to my 10 t techniques for great surveys blog, uh, and as you can see, I've ruined it with the uh, where I selected everything and changed the margins. So those bullet points and numbers are now going into the margins. But I'm not going to save my changes, uh, so that's okay. Um, so there, yeah, there's some uh, there's a foray into the main view ribbon that I quite like. Um, as you can explore some of these uh, read modes and such, which um, I mentioned before. But those are the main ones I use, in particular the multiple page width uh, and um, the zooming in and out and the page navigation are particularly helpful for just getting your documents uh, in order. So I hope you found that video helpful. Um, if you'd like more, um, have a look at the rest of my YouTube or ito.blog to get have a look at my blogs and get in touch with me if you would like any assistance in compiling uh, your documents. Thanks for your time.